Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. I understand that there's been a bit of a delay in terms of me putting out content right there, but yeah, there were certain reasons for it. And uh, yes, uh, I'm back and I'm fresh and I'm, I'm excited to share more content with you. A lot of backlog has been planned for YouTube and you're going to get good stuff, really good stuff in the upcoming tutorials from an LWC front and I have more exciting stuff coming up. Alright, so hopefully a good amount of learning coming up for you guys. So, you know, gear up. Alright, so on the LWC side of it, very quickly reviewing what we did last, we looked at events and notifications, right? So we talked about how do you pass data from child to parent. We knew that, you know, we can use the API decorator to pass data from parent to child. But then we understood that we have custom events that allow us to send data from child to parent, which is beautiful, right? You can actually just talk parent to child and child to parent very easily one way is by at the rate api and the other way is by passing data through custom events by dispatching it and it is not complex it, it, it is very simple that we looked at right and then we also talked about how would you handle passing data to two different unrelated if you don't have parent child you have you know siblings or some other components then some of you commented out that you know lightning message service can be used right and that's correct Cool. Now, I think it is time for us to actually link our Lightning Web Components with the database. That's the real deal, right? The, the front end is nothing with the back end, right? The server is the most important part because you need that in all in all uh, to be able to do something on the UI, right? So we'll start off with understanding how to work with the server side. And this is where we'll discuss a good amount of stuff and, and it will kind of make sense to you that, you know, okay, yes, then you'll be comfortable in an in a you know as a whole as to how to leverage and position your lwc components wherever a business requirements comes in okay so work with the server side always start with the most suitable straightforward approach and only go complex if the requirement demands so okay so if you have a requirement let's say that says uh, you have to you have to build a table and you have to do just two, two actions out of it It is good to future proof it. It is good to think a bit more beyond it But still try to be very straightforward and very use case centric and try to take up whatever solution works Apt to the question that has been asked. Okay, there are different ways of calling server-side actions based on what your need is You need to choose and proceed. So we we'll look at the different options uh, we have wire, we have imperative, we have the connected callback. So you'll just have to take a call. See, there are three ways to go to the kitchen and f get water. Either you tell your mom or your dad, you know, can you give me water? Or you tell your maid or your house help to get you water. Or you get up and go and get water. Or you tell your younger brother or your sister to get up to, get, to you know, give you water. I told you four ways of getting water from the kitchen. All of them have the same result they get you water but there are different approaches right there can be some which are better than the others you can tell your siblings or you can do it yourself but telling your parents might not be a good idea right so there are different ways of doing a certain thing and there are some out of which are the right ways and there are some that might not be the right ways but are still okay because you get the desired result so you'll have to just take a call on what option should you choose and proceed all right now the easiest way to use the database like the very first thing that we are going to look at is us lightning capability which is called lightning data surface i know most of you already know it you guys are preparing for interviews and doing a lot of good stuff on the lwc side already but just to brush up and for those of you who are completely new lightning data service is a powerful tool and it is independently capable enough to handle and manage your data for you and also enable cache to improve component performance right so lightning data service is what we're going to look at next Thank you. 